Hello, everyone. Thank you for being here today. I'm Frank Huang, an engineer from the cloud native department of Alibaba Cloud. I'm very honored to join the Coast Fest. Today, I will share some content about how to develop the cloud native technology to edge computing and uh, introduce the SynSafe edge computing project OpenYard. Over the 15, over the next 15 minutes, you are going to hear about something with the topic SynSafe OpenYard empower the native Kubernetes with edge computing capabilities. There are four parts in today's topic. First, I will share some thoughts of mine about the cloud native and uh, present the commercial and the open source practice details about cloud native in Alibaba Cloud. And uh, in the second part, we will take a look at the background of cloud native and uh, edge computing and uh, analyze how to use the Kubernetes to build the cloud edge integration architecture. And uh, then I will explain the detailed introduction about OpenYard and uh, take one commercial use case named ACK Edge. In 2015, the Cloud Native Computing Foundation, SynSaf, was founded. SynSaf defined the four characteristics of cloud native architectures containerized, automated management, and uh, microservice. In 2018, SynSaf updated the definition of cloud native architecture with two new features self match and uh, declarative APIs. As we can see, the definition for cloud-tail architecture is under ongoing development. In a world, cloud-native supports simple and fast application building, easy deployment, and uh, allows application to be scaled as needed. Cloud-native architecture bring many advantages over traditional web framework and uh, IT models. Alibaba Cloud has a lot of best practice and uh, rich experience about uh, cloud native. Based on this practice, we follow the definition of cloud native architecture and uh, build a complete cloud native architecture system to help our customers to build uh, the cloud native structure with the best business values. From the picture, we can see there are two offerings for Kubernetes service. One is managed Kubernetes, ACK, and uh, another is uh, service Kubernetes, ASK. ACK Kubernetes service are built on top of Alibaba Cloud S capabilities for public cloud, private cloud, and uh, edge computing, and uh, integrated computing, storage, network, and security. ACR supports for cloud native application asset management, which supports any OCI artifacts, Doctor, Docker image, and uh, Helm chart, and uh, we provide the full managed service mesh ASL and uh, provide application level networking for microservice application across different infrastructures, different regions, and uh, different clouds. On top of that, Alibaba Cloud is also active in open source communities such as the SynSaf, the Apache Software Foundation, and the Linux Foundation, and so on. Included in the map, we are leading many open source projects in cloud native community, such as Dragonfly, the P2P distribution project of container image open course, which extend and complement the Kubernetes core controller for workload and uh, application management. 
Kubiwela, it's a Kubernetes add-on for building modern application deployment system. And the OpenArt, it's for edge computing, and so on. OpenArt is today's main topic. Before talking OpenArt, let us understand the background of edge computing and the relationship between cloud edge. Edge computing is computing that takes place at or near the physical location of the user or the source of the data. Rather than transmit it to a remote data center, by placing computing service close to these locations, user benefit from faster low cost. Edge computing is in use today across many industries, including IoT, CDN, retail, transportation, energy industry, and many others. But in the new form of cloud architecture, cloud always consists of computing both at uh, centralized data centers and uh, distributed edges. It also allows the existing cloud service and uh, cloud development model to be adapted at edge, including the ability of cloud native, such as container, Kubernetes, AI, and so on. This is a cloud edge collaboration platform like this. We can unit the cloud edge node and the IoT device. So, in order to the, uh, in order to realize collaboration architecture, some of the container technology are always employed for distributing com computing to edge location, like Kubernetes. This diagram shows a classic Kubernetes architecture. It consists of a control plan and a data plan. Kubernetes has a full set of standards for application and uh, container management. There are some advantages about building edge computing based on Kubernetes are as follows. Firstly, you only need to deploy your application once, then you can available to run everywhere. This is what edge computing needs. And the uh, application are always packed into a container, so can be easily provisioned to all type of edge nodes. Then, a set of standards has been established for Kubernetes API. Using Kubernetes for the edge computing platform makes the platform easier to work with. It's similar with the cloud. The Kubernetes, after all, is designed to work inside the data center. If using a native Kubernetes to edge, we will face many challenges. Firstly, the unreliable network between control plane and the worker node. When the net network connection is off, if edge node restarts, parts cannot be created. And when API server meets the node heartbeat, node controller start to evacuate the parts. Second, an indirectional network because all edge nodes reside in internet. And the last one, the requirement of region of well application management. Under this background, we took out the project OpenYard. OpenYard, an open platform extend Kubernetes to Edge. It's a cloud native edge computing framework released on May 29, 2020 by Alibaba Cloud and become since a sandbox project on September in the same year. By now, it's becoming more and more popular in cloud native and edge computing. OpenYard focus on cloud edge integration based on Kubernetes strong container application deployment capability. 
OpenYard uh, provides the necessary capability for the distribution, delivery, and uh, control of edge cloud edge applications. Compared with other community-based edge computing frameworks, OpenYard adheres to the minimum mod modification principle, and by installing the YardHub components on edge node and uh, deploying the YAD controller manager component on the cloud. It provides the capability required to manage edge computing application with zero instruction into Kubernetes cluster. To empower native Kubernetes cluster with edge computing capabilities, OpenYard used add-ons to provide the native Kubernetes cluster with the following capability, edge autonomy and the cloud edge collaboration to resolve the challenge above. Through edge autonomy, when the cloud edge network is disconnected or nodes are offline, applications run on the edge nodes are not affected. And by using the network tunnel between cloud and edge, users can obtain the standard OM ability. In the end, I will introduce the business practice with OpenYard in Alibaba Cloud. The container service for edge computing called ACK at Edge. ACK at Edge is a cloud managing solution to coordinate cloud and edge computing and empowers customers to manage large scale edge computing workload in different architecture like ARM and X1886 with Kubernetes. It has stable cloud edge networking which allows the application at edge can access VPCs in the cloud. It enhanced Kubernetes for the United based application delivery and management for better availability. Since 2018, OpenYard has become the core framework of ACK at Edge and has been applied to CDN, IoT platform, logistics, industrial brain, and the city brain. It's also used in many Alibaba Cloud business or projects, such as LinkEdge, Herma Fresh, Yoku, and so on. The above is all the content of today's topic. Thank you very much for your attention.